What is good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. Kith and New Balance have had a very long and successful history of sneaker collaborations through the years. This year marks a couple of anniversaries for both brands. It marks the 10th year anniversary of Kith and also the 40th anniversary of the legendary New Balance 990s. And both brands have come together to commemorate the occasion by producing one of the very best pairs of New Balances this year. I will be reviewing the Kith New Balance United Arrows 990 V4. So what is good guys and welcome back to all of my long-term viewers. Shout out to everyone supporting the channel. And if you are new here, my name is Josh. I do sneaker reviews and all types of other sneaker content. If that is something you're looking for, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping at least three videos a week. Check out my sneaker podcast as well. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn good. Check it out. It's on Spotify and Apple Music, the Kickback Pod, link is in the description. And give me a follow on my IG as well, at JDKick6, I'm very active there too. So here it is, we got it, the kit. New Balance 990 V4 to mark the 10th year anniversary of Kit. The entire colorway of this sneaker is based on a colorway from United Arrows, a Japanese retailer. They did a collaboration on the 997.5 back in 2008, and Kith did their own version of this in 2018 on a pair of 997s. The sneakers released officially on June the 16th, which also was Ronnie Figs, the founder of Kith. It was his 40th birthday that day. And Kith did do something new with this release, at least here in Europe. They released the Kith app and there were raffles for the shoe in the app, which is something I haven't seen them do before. Let me know in the comments how many of you guys managed to get a W on that raffle. I actually completely forgot to enter the raffle, but on release date, these did drop online on the Kith website and that's how I was able to cop them. Also to mark this 10 year anniversary, there were three other pairs that dropped on consecutive days. It started off with the 990 V4 the following day we saw the Daytona 990 V3s followed the next day by the 990 V2 pretty dope marketing on this shoe we had Steve Nash and his son rocking the pairs in the promo picks and finally we had the 990 V1 in the dust rose colorway also drop for me out of this entire pack I definitely wanted the 990 V4s for personal because I just felt like this was the best colorway let me know down in the comments which of the four sneakers did you guys cop or did you cop multiple I already like the shoe quite a lot as soon as I saw the colorway but guys once you receive it in hand these are just incredibly impressive let's start off with this box check out all the details on the box we got the overhead picture of the shoe on the top of the box kit branding all along the sides and opening up the box I was surprised to find not only this really nice dust bag but also this really cool commemorative pair of kit and stance socks done in the same colorway to match the shoe so definitely the box and all the little extras made this feel like a pretty special release and getting into the shoes most of the shoe done in this nice gray color you know we love our 990s done in gray you got these really nice hits of what I would call a hot pink color on the end also some hits of pink near the back of the shoe we also got some hits of purple near the toe box area done in leather we get a pretty unusual black tongue here as well as a black sock liner and finally you get this nice little hit of cream on the back part of the midsole I gotta say overall from a colorway point of view I absolutely love this colorway 10 out of 10 for the colors the pink on this is so nice and I gotta say I really appreciate that black tongue and the black laces even though we've seen this colorway before on those previous pairs I mentioned in the beginning of the video I gotta say it looks the best on this 990 v4 just a beautiful looking pair but what's even better than the colorway is the quality of this suede that they've used here this shoe should have come with a butter knife man because this suede is just the most buttery soft suede i've felt on a new balance this year great quality and great colorway what's not to love you get this kit branding also at the back of the shoe and you see that there is an x there instead of the i to symbolize the 10 year anniversary that is the roman numeral 10. You also get some extra laces with this pair, a white pair as well as some purple laces. I personally would stick with the black. So when it comes to sizing, if I wanted to, I could go a half size down in my 990s and it would fit okay. I personally prefer to go true to size because I find that when I go a half size down, especially near this toe area, it is a bit tight for my personal preference. However, I would say for most people, you should be able to go a half size down fit pretty comfortably. If you have wider feet, you probably want to go true to size. On this particular pair, I was trying to check out super fast on the Kith website. The first size I saw was 10 and a half. 
just added it to cart and checked out. And that is a half size down than my normal size. And I will say it fits pretty good. It's not like super annoying near the toe area. Overall, I would say it still fits me really well. I personally just prefer a bit of a roomier fit on the 990. So I normally like to go true to size, but I do suggest going a half size down for most people. On the resale market, these are actually reselling for quite a lot more than I expected. A lot of sizes right now going for over 300. I don't think these resale prices are too high considering what you're getting with the shoe. Brilliant quality, great colorway, a lot of little extras. You're even getting a nice free pair of socks and normally stand socks go for about 20 bucks. So you could factor that in. I think they're worth the price and I could see the prices definitely rising from here considering it is a special anniversary edition. So my overall thoughts on the New Balance 990 V4 Kit United Arrows. For me, these are a top two New Balance to release this year. I still think the Jound 990 V3 is my favorite pair to release, mainly because the colorway on that is just a thing of beauty. But these for me are a pretty close second for best New Balances this year. I love that most of the sneaker is done in this gray color, which we are very familiar with when it comes to 990s which makes this a very wearable shoe that you can wear with pretty much anything the colorway just doesn't look too loud it comes together really nicely the quality on this pair just too good and also man i love the free socks man shout out to kit definitely i believe this pair right here is a cop let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of the New Balance 990 V4 kit? Was this the best pair to come out out of those four packs? This was actually the only pair that I copped, so you won't be seeing any reviews of the other pairs on this channel. I was very, very happy to get these for retail. Definitely, I think, one of the overall better sneakers to release this year. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching this video and for supporting the channel. If you found it useful, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.